Hello Zebraherda and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we made our way out all the way to Laurelland Village. We're gonna be doing a couple things. First off, trying to go up this little mountain part, but I have a feeling maybe there's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff going on in this nice little village we got here. Uh, I've never really heard much, many of the characters talk about it, so yeah. I always forget that I go into combat. I never put on my actual combat clothes. That should be something I do a little bit more often now, isn't it? But yeah, this town, it honestly reminds me of uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. <laughs> it's really cool. Very uh, tropical. Apparently it's sort of like a harboring place. Doggy, I wanna talk to the doggy. Hi doggy, can I talk to you? Ready. No, not really. Okay, <laughs> he's so cute. But yeah, now we got all of our stuff back up, basically when it comes to all of our Divine Beast things. Hello, anybody home? Not at all. Maybe this is a ghost town, that'd be weird. It looks very well tended to for a ghost town. But hey, if I can get some free stuff, well nobody's looking, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I don't really know what purpose I could serve with this town. That's why I'm sort of really curious about it. Do I have enough room for another sledgehammer? I have three of them now. There'll be times where I have like a bunch of them and times where I have none of them, so it's good to have a balance. What is this? Boat oar, made for paddling boats, but it was made sturdy enough to fight strong currents. Maybe it's useful for self-defense in a pinch. I won't take it, but good to know. Uh, hi. Hey, sir, I haven't seen you around. Do you sightseeing? Sightseeing? Huh, you haven't heard? There's a special place where they say you can find your true love. Folks come from all over to visit, hoping for love. It's the Lover's Pond on Tuft Mountain. Why don't you go check it out, mister? I've heard of it, I'll check it out later. Pretty sure it's a uh, fairy fountain. Oh, this is cool. What's up on this little uh, tower? Probably not too much. Imagine it's just sort of like a lookout post. Maybe. I wouldn't think this is for a lifeguard. That might be a little bit silly. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to whoever I can. Nice winds today. Are you a traveler? Welcome to Laurelin Village. I'm Razo. I'm the head of this village. I have a daughter. She got married and went to Hatino Village recently. I wonder if she's doing well. You mean Rolera? Yes, Rolera. She's doing well? That's good to hear. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have about local things. About the village. Laurelin Village is a fishing village. When I was younger, I used to be a fisherman myself. The fish here are fresh and delicious. You should try some at least once. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, about the ocean. There are tales passed down of sunken treasure in the ocean around here. I would look for it myself if I were a bit younger, but I've grown old. But you look like you have a young pair of legs and a strong back. Do you want to go look in my stead? I'm on it. I couldn't be happier to hear it. Now, according to the old tales, the treasure sleeps in the center of the golden triangle. Oh, by the by, do you happen to have a boat? If not, I can lend you my raft. It's tied up at the wharf. Help yourself. Okay, sunken treasure. What else can I ask you? What nice weather. It's a fine day to go out to sea. Feel free to ask me any questions you may have about the local things. So, about the village. I mean, you already told me it's a fishing village when, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, Eventide Island. Uh, the large island in the sea to the east of the village is called Eventide Island. There are some legends about the island, so, so the, vil the fishermen tend to avoid it whenever possible. When you're on the island, you start hearing voices. I don't know if it's real or just a dream, though. Anything else you'd like to know? The ruins? If you want to, if you walk east from the village and keep going for a bit, you'll end up at Palmore Beach. There are some kind of old ruins there. One of the youths from the village, Garini, goes there often to poke around. If you're interested, you should go see them. Garini should be able to tell you a lot about them. Anything else you want to know? That's it, thank you for all the info. All right, if you think of anything else, ask, I, I will. What a nice old man. He gave me a ton of information I didn't have previously. Don't know what's too much this way. But maybe this isn't the mountain I'm thinking of. I suppose not. Maybe I'm thinking about this part right here. I mean, I don't know, like I think this pin is actually from here and I missed. And maybe that's when I'm getting confused. I mean, I'm, I'm, having, a, I'm having a fun time poking around no matter what. So no regrets on this part, but uh, this is cool. I do see this, looks like there was somebody. Yeah, there's somebody over there. Lots of people all over the place. Hard to really tell where I should go first. Got more hardy radishes though, that's always good. I do wanna explore those parts of the village soon. 
but I might as well go this way, and if we're gonna go back into the water, I do wanna try the Zora armor a bit, so equip that. No, 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 I'm gonna get the other thing too. I'm sorting this stuff out a little. Uh, Okay, so I guess you can organize it in separate ways, either by clothing type or by set type. Okay, that's pretty cool. Equip that, and let's swim. Oh, hold on, whoop. And it seems like, yeah, we swim faster maybe? It's Yeah, we're definitely swimming faster now that I think about it. Oh, this is great. If we could get some kind of Zora hood, I mean, that's why we should keep doing Zora-related quests soon enough, because maybe we could get another piece and that'd be the Zora hood completed, or the Zora clothing set. So who is this? Oh, is this a uh, Gerudo? I think it is. Hi. Uh, so far. How are you? Hmm, the weather here is nice and warm. It's not all at all like that blazing heat in the desert. Are you here on vacation? I am. I see, as for me. You see that island over there? That's Eventide Island. I came here even, I was probably Eventide, and I sound like such a dingus. I came here uh, all the way, uh, I came all the way here so that I could go there. Okay. However, it's actually hard to get there by sea. It feels like you need to grow wings to go there. I can handle that part. Hmm. Oh, look at all the horses around here. This is such a beautiful area. I'm having a lot of fun adventuring. So I'm gonna go back this way towards the village. And sort of check out some other things. Apparently he let me use his raft, so but we can't use that. Oh hey, look, it's painting guy. Maybe we could get a hint on the next thing from him while we're talking to him. Uh hi. Oh look at him, he's drawn the boat. That's so cool. The gorgeous ocean and those who live in harmony with it. Words co alone can't describe such exquisite scenery. Hey, hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture, then show me. Let's see it already. Check out my album. So what is he gonna tell us about next? Because I guess we gotta do that in today's episode. Yep. Hmm, oh yes, this is Hyrule Castle. It appears to be a view of it from before the Great Calamity. Rather than the castle, it focuses on the surrounding Cloisters, what a fascinating com composition for a picture, so maybe not. Whoever left this picture behind, I feel like they were trying to convey something special to the viewer. So maybe that isn't an Akala Tower. It just looks like it. So that's another tough one. I mean, I sort of want you to talk to me about it again. I like hearing it twice, just in case. Uh, this is Hyrule Castle. It appears to be a view of it before the Great Calamity. Okay. Well, that's gonna be tough to find. That's for sure. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that one anytime soon. That's a shame. Uh, hello? Anybody home in this one? I don't know. But I'll be willing to find out any way I can. <laughs> you don't have a door to knock on, so I guess I'll just break your stuff. So mean. Oh, here we go, here's somebody. Let me get another weapon out. I just feel like it's better than using the durability of the hammer. Can I take these? No. <laughs> Do you like fish? Uh, oh yeah, I like fish. I don't really, but might as well for the sake of conversation. Uh, doesn't that feel cool? Fish, fish look delicious. Uh, I, I, I caught it myself too. You're welcome to help yourself. I cooked way too much for just myself alone. Sure, we got roasted porgy. The soft and fluffy texture of this seafaring fish has been enhanced by roasting it over an open fire. The crisp, Aromatic skin is particularly de delicious. Can I get more of those? Thank you. Is this the, the old man's raft? Also, what are these? Fishing harpoon, a fisherman's tool that excels at catching large fish. It practically, it's pr particularly sharp spearhead makes it valuable as a weapon as well. Don't need it. But I wonder which one is his raft. Maybe that one there. Uh, I mean, maybe I should use this for that. We get an arrow out of it, which is pretty good. Uh, okay, probably shouldn't have jumped in the water. Yeah, there's just lots to do around here. It's awesome. Can I buy these? It looks like it. Um, okay. Hi. Yeah. Hey, welcome. You're a new face. Fresh fish, just recently caught. Take a look. Okay. Oh. If you want something, just let me know by standing in front of it and selecting it. I could also sell to you if I'd like. 20 each. Yeah. That seems standard. Uh, I'll take them all. 60 rupees, not a problem. Awesome. So this definitely isn't his raft. That's for sure. I think it's hers. Where could his be? Hmm. 
I mean, we could check the quest again, just to, just to be sure. But at the same time, I mean, apparently to get to the island, we need to, to fly there. So I don't know if it's gonna be too helpful for me at the moment anyways. But it does sound fun to uh, use a boat to get around. A little bit different than what we're used to. Anybody in here? Oh, hey, looks like we got an in. Welcome, you must be tired from your long trip. Do you wanna stay? A normal bed would be 20 rupees if you want to soothe your body and soul. No, thank you. Uh, but thanks for the offer, I appreciate it. So we haven't gone to this little group up here, but once we do, I think that's about it. Uh, okay. I hear a cow, so it looks like they maybe have some farm animals up there. Oh, a couple quests, phew. Are you a traveler? I'm a fisherman on the, of this village, but we're in a bit of a bind recently. Uh, monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull in a good haul at Eris Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. You think you could go take care of them? Consider it done. Good stuff. Remember, it's called Eris Beach. The monsters have set up shop there. Stay sharp. Okay, cool, that sounds very doable. Take back the sea. Hey, are you a traveler? This is Laurelin Village. We're a small fishing town and proud of it. My husband is a fisherman and I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen too. What should I cook for tonight's dinner? Make your seafood paella, 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 paella? Paella, <laughs> it's so good and yummy and great. That settles it, I'll make some seafood paella. Wow. Yay! <laughs> we seem to be a bit short on ingredients though. We'll need goat butter and hearty blue shell snail. I'm so busy with health, housework, I don't think, I don't think I have time to go shopping for ingredients. Oh, I know. Could you go and get the ingredients we're missing? Sure. <gasps> really, I'm so happy to hear that, I'll be waiting. Okay, do I have any of those right now? Now I'm gonna need some goat butter and some hearty blue shell snail, and you can help me out. I don't have either. I was hoping I had the snail shell, but apparently not. Uh, anything going on in here? Doesn't look like there's anything going on in these little buildings. That's fine. I mean, they are somebody else's home. I probably shouldn't be bothering them, but bah! Gotta get some free stuff. This is a shield I haven't seen. Fisherman shield, often carried by fishermen for its fish design which represents hope for a great catch. It's light wooden construction makes it convenient to take onto a boat. Cool. Okay, so, uh, yeah, here's some cows. Hi, cows. You're adorable. Can't do much with you. I, I don't even want to try to attack you. That'd be awful. Yeah, I don't see too much else going on. So we're gonna make our way out this way and I think try to maybe glide to that island because I'm just curious about it now. And then maybe eventually we could go back so we could get on top of that mountain. That feels like it would be a good idea as well. I don't know if I want to do too much more there, but being able to uh, get, what's it called, would be good. Uh, another ferry, if that's what it is. This seems like a nice little fishing spot as well. Some of these fish move quick, so I'll have to be quicker. Hardy bass is large fish, lives near the shoreline. Its sizable body can store a lot of nutrients when cooked into a dish. It will temporarily increase your maximum hearts. Very cool. So, uh. Can I swim with this waterfall? See, some of them you cannot, and this is one of them. Oh, well, I guess it really isn't much of a waterfall. I didn't really look up. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Oh man, swimming more quickly is definitely, definitely worthwhile. I'm glad I did that quest. I mean, I, was, I wanna do all of them eventually, but glad I did that one when I did. It seemed like it synced up well with what else we're doing. Because I need to climb up this mountain now. It might just be easier to go up like that, and then go up like this, and then go like that, that seems like the most reasonable thing I can do. So let's do it. I don't see too much else going on out here. Is that a lady with the, no, that's a horse, okay. I thought there was like a lady or something way in the distance hanging out with the horses. I was gonna be like, okay, I haven't talked to you. But then there's also what I think right there is an enemy hideout. Is that the one he was talking about? Because if it is, I might wanna go ahead and take care of that now. Because like here's this like curved piece of land over this way and I do see that uh, Lysel. Which actually, you know, different than I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I wanna plop down there and face those guys just yet then. I mean, maybe if I find a shrine around here. But yeah, I think I was trying to mark that up there. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something worthwhile. But no, wait, this is the little dip I was looking at. Ooh, oh, it's a giant rock monster. That is 100% certain. The game just saved on the bottom left. <laughs> I saw that. Okay, I see a lot of rocks on the floor as well. We can get them though, we have three of these. Uh, okay, hold on tight, Link. Hold on tight if you can. Oh boy, no, that was the opposite of what I wanted you to do. Uh, okay, stone talus, dude. 
I need you to miss and then fall or whatever. I mean, maybe you don't even need to fall. Oh, I got you pretty good there. Jeez, Louise. Okay, oh, I missed. That's okay, I can get on top now. Come on, come on. Yeah, it actually is in a weird spot, isn't it? Oh, I missed it again. <laughs> That's just really embarrassing. He's like, you're really bad at this, you know? I'm like, you too, buddy. Ah. Stop trying to hit me. <laughs> it really is in like a very inopportune spot. It's like, it's hard to jump up and hit. Obviously, if you get on top of him, it doesn't help either. Jeez, stop wiggling. I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't work out. Dude, can you please stop? I'm gonna get on top of you again. Okay, are you gonna headbutt or what? Come on, headbutt. Oh man, okay, I did get it, somehow. I can't see anything now, thank you, camera. Oh, you dropped some amber, I'll take it. Cause I don't know, ow! When you're gonna do something like that. Jeez. Maybe I just need to stay in front of him so he'll throw his rock punches at me. We fight these kind of guys a lot, I've noticed. Oh gosh, we're out of stamina, out of stamina. Use too much, ow! That didn't do much damage, but geez, it hurt my feelings. Stop doing that so quickly. Oh my gosh, he moves at the perfect time like he has so much finesse. It's probably accidental finesse, but it's still finesse. Come on. Oh, I don't like this positioning of this darn rock. There we go. You know what? We're gonna do this. Oh, ooh. The old fashioned way. I totally forgot that happens. Man, I, I gotta just keep that in mind. Always and forever. Ah, uh, where'd, my, where'd my thing go? It's right here. He keeps kicking the stones around, and you're kicking me around too. I should have made food while I had the chance, shouldn't I have? Oh well. I, mean, I still actually have a decent amount of food from dying so much last episode. That like it just never saved me eating it, because I ate it during the battles and then I would die. Okay, okay, okay. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I just need one more shot on that thing. Oh, and I got it! Okay, let's run before he lands on me. Yeah, we got him! Get out of here. Ooh, a ruby as well, and then a ton. A ton of amber. Hmm. Sort of want that one right there. How many bomb? I only have one bomb arrow. That would be very foolish to use it there. Getting up there might be a pain because you see that's all gold and sparkly. I gotta have it. <laughs> it's mine. I mean, we should be able to get up there relatively easy. Come on, ready, set, last big jump. Nice job, Link. You did it. Okay. I don't know if I'll worry about all the others, but. Definitely gonna try to worry about these. Oh my gosh, that was totally worth it. It was like a legendary rock. It dropped two ru ru rubies and one sapphire. Uh, got some stuff there. Good, good, good. Okay. And we got an opal as well. That is really good. Gonna be worth all the money. I think that we probably have a lot of rupees worth of materials at this point. It's just sort of knowing what to sell and what not to sell. Some of it can be good for upgrading materials. We can always get more rocks is the thing. Just gotta keep our eyes out for them. But I think this seems to be a bit of a path in some way, maybe eventually leads up, but at the same time, maybe not. I'm getting doubtful of that. Doesn't look like there's really an actual path up this way. Hmm. It does give me a good lay of the land though. It may actually be better just to teleport back to that uh, shrine we unlocked right at the end of the last episode. But what's going on here? Hmm. Oh, there's somebody here as well. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is Garini. Hey. Ah. Sorry about that. I was in the zone. Did you need something? What are you doing? I was just examining this stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? A little. I recently realized that there was there is writing engraved on this stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Can I help? Ha, ah, so you're the curious type too. This stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Wow. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, won't you? They're scattered all, they'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had some kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, please show a picture of it and bring it to me. I'll be here finishing my examination of this stone monument. Oh, right. And the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier to find. 
One of them should be right around here. Please find that first. Okay, cool, a fragmented monument. Of course, that's a shrine quest, so if we could find that, would be useful. Oh, hello. Um, Yeah, we're not dealing with you like this, huh? Okay, well, I probably shouldn't have used that against him. He was done for anyways. Um, I did not want the, the bokeh one arm. No, I did not. Get out of here. I wanted this. How much damage is this? Probably not much. 18's actually pretty good. Uh, We'll break some of this stuff though. Oh, pretty good. And then this one as well. Getting lots of rocks. But it is sort of starting to be, well it is nighttime right now, so it should be glowing if we do find it. Is that a bunny? No, that's the hand. Or whatever, he's looked like a little rabbit. I don't really see the glowing thing he's talking about, but I'll keep it in mind, I think for right now, worry about other things. Like going up here. It's going off for another shrine though. Suppose there's another one nearby. Oh yeah, at the tippity top of the mountain. Is this the way I should be climbing this? Probably not. Uh, it's gonna take me way more time to do it this way and the chances are high I'm gonna fall. So I'm gonna go back to the shrine and probably just use a lot of Rivali's Gale to sort of get my way up a little bit easier. That should be fine. Uh, some items like bows allow you to target things by tilting the switch. Remember to be aware of your surroundings when doing this. <laughs> I appreciate it. Forest spirits called quirks like to hide in an unexpected spots. Never pass up an opportunity to investigate things. I know, I try to. Okay, so what I wanna do is I sort of understand where this is. Like maybe, yeah, now I'm getting a little confused about where, there was definitely not really anything here, I don't think. Once I climb up here, the first thing I'll do is look over there. So I'll go ahead and make this the yellow pin and then make this like a star. It's a little off, but maybe there is something there that I'm just missing. Cause I sort of do that sometimes, just miss major details. But I think it'll be way better just to climb up normally from the beginning of it, which is over this way. So that'll be good. Hmm. So none of these guys are back, of course. They probably won't be back until another blood moon. Good to keep in mind though. There was a path leading this way. It wasn't much of a path, you know, but it's probably what's gonna get me up this mountain. Okay. Well, it's definitely getting darker seemingly. I saw the shadows moving. I don't think we're gonna get a blood mood anytime soon, I wouldn't think. I mean, I guess it's been a little while. I don't think it's been that long. But yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a memory today with how things are going. I just, I wanted to tackle some other things for sure. Looks like there's stuff that way as well. Can you leave me alone? Thank you. I'm not even gonna get your stuff. I have plenty of that stuff. But it's just, there's so much I wanna explore around here, especially if we could get another uh, fairy fountain, that would be really good. So we are sort of kind of heading up the, uh, the side of the mountain now, which is what I was looking for. It's pretty good. I wanna check out this forest really quickly. This looks almost familiar. I know, you guys wanna pick a bone with me. I think you have plenty of bones yourself. Do you really need mine too? No, this one is just so, mm, specific. Neither, it's not that one either. Hmm. Okay. Whenever I see a forest like that, I just get suspicious nowadays. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's go this way. I hear Keith even chasing us. There's just like a lot of things in the night that just don't like us one bit. Oh boy, speaking of which, can you get out, out off of there? Oh, definitely, I gotta get rid of your friend first. Got him, okay. Now I can deal with you. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna, what's my strongest weapon right now? 36 probably with this sword. I'm gonna run up to you, freeze you, and then, oh, I didn't really freeze you there. Uh, there we go. And then I could use a uh, Urbosa's stuff, but I don't think I need to. Boom, that was pretty good. And then I know our sword is badly damaged and it's broke. Uh, I'm gonna freeze you, and then <laughs> you were floating in the air. You're magical. Come on, and then, ugh. That sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I don't understand what, what it needs. Maybe I just need to be full health. Maybe that's sort of the, the thing about it. Okay, ooh, we get ourselves uh, more stuff there. That, that spear, how strong was this spear? 12 is not bad for a spear, I'll take it. And this stuff over this way. Uh, is this more powerful than this one? It's the same, so I, I won't bother picking it up. Okay, because we have so many monster parts at this point, like we're bound to be able to upgrade a lot of stuff, I would imagine. 
if we could just get to another ferry. That's why I want to do that later this episode. And whatever else we can use monster parts for. Cause like there's very few things I want to sell to shops at this rate. Only things I know I can get a lot of like luminous stones. Like I get those constantly, so I might as well sell them when I can. There is, I'm going this way, right? Am I going? No, cause I keep on like turning around the last second my map gets pulled out by accident. So at the top of that, there's a shrine. I think that was the shrine I was trying to mark before, but I just made silly mistakes. Oh, oh, what's up here? Is that a, oh, okay, let's try to get you. Come on, come on, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I didn't know if it was like one of those fairies that fly around that zap you, like the fire fairy. They're, they're probably wizards or something, but uh, they're always a pain. Okay, well there's that done. What is that, that's a goat. <laughs> Okay, I got a little worried there for a moment. Whenever we find any of these kind of skull things, we're usually getting into some big trouble. You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna do this. Oh, there is another one in the water there. That's probably what I was trying to mark. You know what, let's use a different bow. Uh, Got him. Okay, so I got rid of two of them and I think that's gonna help me a lot. I mean, these guys aren't very powerful now. I'm just trying to make sure they don't blow my cover. And then, do that. I know there's still one more. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, they're gonna be like, oh gosh, grab your weapons. Okay, now I can start using this. Especially against some of you guys. Uh, I think there's two white and purple ones, which is a huge problem. Oh boy. Okay, I need to back it up, back it up, back it up. And then, try something like this. Keep them away. I don't know why he was swinging around like that. That was weird. Get out of here. You, I don't need to deal with, so I'm not going to. But these two, I might have an issue with. So, what I'm probably gonna do is pull out something like this, and then, oh boy, this might hurt me too. Uh, we're gonna find out. Okay, okay, come on. Get you, get you, get you. Man, you do not get hurt easily. And then, oh, that was decent. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up, and then run over to you. Just keep slicing and dicing you. I don't know where his friend is, which is what I'm worried about. Two, three, four, got him. Okay, so I don't know where his friend is, he's over there. He's like, only now getting up. Oh, he dropped the sapphire as well. These guys are great when it comes to what they drop. Oh, you forgot. <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, what we were doing, we're fighting. Stop it. Jeez, dude. Okay, that should be pretty good. I think that we can deal with him with that, right? Okay, uh, ow, no, never mind. This guy's the worst. Come on, all I'm trying to do is freeze ya. This doesn't really do much for much long, or very long, much long? Jeez, Zebra. Learn how to talk. Got him. Okay, he dropped an arrow and a royal broadsword. Yeah, ding, 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 we win the fight. Man, I gotta get better at combat. There have been some cool moments recently that I've been doing okay, but mostly I need to do better. I need to do that to get this royal broadsword. Ooh, has high durability as well. Okay. Ooh, good stuff there. And then what was over here? Just a couple of uh, normal monster parts. So what'll this have for me? Maybe something really cool? I do see an arrow behind that. A Knight's Halberd, attack up plus eight is actually very, very good for what it is. Uh, do I have anything I can really get rid of? I think at this point I need to do away with, I, mean, I just don't need three iron sledgehammers and I have a way to get them very easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this halberd because 21 damage is a lot of damage for something so pokey. Look at how quick that is. Uh, so I would like to keep that. I just like how the farther and better you get at the game, the better loot you get as well. That's been helpful. Hmm. I don't remember taking care of this guy in this outpost. I don't see any of his like droppings or belongings or anything anywhere. See, so yeah, we're just gonna keep running this way. I thought it was gonna be all rocky on the top of this, but no. It's just uh, grass, which is actually really cool. I wonder, it's sort of steep though. Are we gonna start slipping because of the rain? <laughs> I can see that happening. And once again, I was not wearing the proper armor. I wish there was sort of like a thing we could do where we could set up, like it would just change the armor depending on what you're doing. If you jump in the water, it changes to the Zora armor. If you get into a battle, it changes into the other gear. But I guess it's sort of my responsibility to remember. This one's just sort of a little inconspicuous. It's just sort of chilling out up here. I don't see any kind of like enemy def defending it. I guess that's the point. Oh, it's a very cool shrine to have, that's for sure. 
Because it's just such a good vantage point. I will gladly get it. Okay, so, get that, and then, uh, take a look from here. Uh, so I can remove this marker. Uh, no. Delete pin. And is there, oh man, it's raining way too much to really tell. It's raining way too much, but it's about to end. So if I could just wait it out, that'd be great. Hmm. Yeah, you can't see anything. Is it supposed to be that way? Like I know about this one, that one's already marked. You can glide to it now, which should be easy. I definitely will be able to glide to that one. But was that the one I saw? Because I don't think there's anything this way. Like, it was actually more like around there. Oh, you can make more than one of these. I thought you can only make one of the one of each. How many of them can you make? Oh, a hundred. I think that's what that said. Okay, well, I could always come back to this place later when it's not raining, even though it's probably gonna be any second now. I just wanna get to this. I should be able to make it. Hopefully. <laughs> We're gonna find out. There is sort of a crosswind that makes it more difficult but I think we can make it. We have so much leeway. Look at how uh, we're almost above it already. I think we'll be fine. Come on now. Yeah, I know there's a shrine nearby. What do you think I'm doing? And then there's that island. I don't know if we can make that island. We might need to use Revali's gal. But this is, this is, <laughs> this is pretty doable. There might even be somebody stuck on here. There's a raft here just in case. But what is that thing? Is that a tree stump? Suppose so. Oh, it's a it's a thing. Oh, um. Not now, not now. I'm busy. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, so there we go. We activated that shrine. And I'm guessing the idea is that I'm supposed to use the boat. I don't wanna. Oh, we could do that one later. Oh, I see that. Can I get that? Not really. I would have to just probably drive the boat up to it. Well, good to know. Anything else? Oh, hey, here's a leaf too. So just in case you needed one. Pretty cool that they give you one. I'm gonna head back up here now. The rain should be gone, so we should be able to see whatever we need to from up here, which will be pretty nice and handy. Okay, I feel like we made some pretty good progress so far in today's episode, even if we have not uh, gotten a memory yet. Maybe the next episode, because I think that almost every single other one I mean, there's still maybe one I could try to get before I, you know, give up on that idea. Uh, we'll have to see. Okay, it's much clearer now. I don't see any down here. So yeah, I just sort of missed when I took a, like a, a little snapshot of this one. I think that was sort of the, the, the idea. Because up there, that's the uh, place I was taking the pictures from. So yeah, we could, Oh, that's tough to say. If I use Revali's Gale, I think we could make our way all the way there. There's definitely like wind pushing us this way. It was pushing me sort of away from the shrine, which was the scary part. But we just gotta hope we have enough stamina to make it. That's sort of the, the challenge now. Do we have enough stamina to make it all the way there? It's just gonna have to sort of be like a hope and see kind of thing. The thing is, is like, is there any shrine around here? I don't see one like on the top or maybe between the the trees or something. But is this, to, I think this is the island a lot of people are telling me to check out. So if I could just get a marker for it or just some way to get over here more easily for next time, that'd be great. I wanna imagine they would have an island this far out that there's no way to like teleport to. Cause doing this every time would be a pain in the booty. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't think we are. I don't have any stamina restoration food right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, that stinks. Oh, I can't only do that once, can I? Oh, that killed me. <laughs> no, it didn't kill me. It just sends me back. Okay, so we can't quite get over there yet. We need, I mean, maybe going so high up pushed me out of the draft, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, well, I'll have to approach that later. Hmm. No, I wanna go there and that's Hyrule Castle. I already got that one. This, to me, doesn't seem like Hyrule Castle, but it could be just about anything. 
Because, like, there's Hyrule... Okay, no, if I take a bigger, better look at this. On the left is Hyrule Castle. Down the center, you can see Rito, uh, Village's champion. So maybe it's a... Uh, champion, uh, you know what I mean, Divine Beast. So maybe it's down the river there. I can sort of see how that is. Uh, and then beyond that, this one and that one, which this one I'm pretty sure is also at uh, Hyrule Castle. And this one is just, like, impossible to know, <laughs> except for just pure chance. Okay, so if I were to look for that on the map, Rito Village is this way. So it would have to be around here. Man, that is just like inconspicuous. But it would be around this way in Elden. It would be like this river that's to our left. Because then the Hyrule Castle is there. Hmm. Hard to say for sure. Especially since I won't, won't have the Divine Beast flying around to sort of get a good marker on where it is. But I'll try for it. I feel like that'll be our, our focus for today's episode. But hopefully everything goes well. And then after that, maybe we could go all the way back so I can <laughs> get to that fairy fountain. I keep forgetting about that one. I just want to try to make sure we make some kind of major progress in each episode. That way it's just easier to title the videos, to be honest with you. So we're at Woodland Tower. I feel like this is gonna be the closest tower to what we're looking for. Cause there's the Rito, and this is like the, the thing. Uh, where are those ruins you see there? Where's the giant pink lotus tree as well? I don't see that. Can I climb up the skull thing? I don't know. Uh, maybe it would just be easier if I were to, yeah, go like that. And then, there we go. That'll make it easier to see. <laughs> There's not anything up here, is there? I guess not. Yeah, that's the giant pink lotus tree. So it's between those two things. I'm really getting there then. Are these the ruins? I think so. Like maybe there was just no tower there before. That would make sense to me, it looks like it. Because it's like, that matches up perfectly if so. So I think that uh, it's, I don't have it right now. <laughs> Somewhere just like straight this way. We might need some more height than what I currently have. Looks like there's some enemies down there. I got a lot of cool stuff from this area, I remember. A lot of electric stuff. It's just on top of one of these mountain parts, but that's sort of the hard part, right? It is hard to tell exactly where. I'm just gonna have to keep turning around. It was definitely much higher up than this, but it was sort of those scaffoldings that I, that I was seeing there. So we'll just try to go up as high up as we can. Maybe we would be on a main path of some sort. It's gonna be hard to tell. But I think going up as high as we can and then making our way down will be easier. There's no other real easy way to do that, I don't think. I mean, maybe going to the other Elden Tower would have been easier. But it's hard to say. Oh gosh, we're sliding, we're slipping, we're sliding. Okay. Uh, I really wish we had more Revali's Gale. It'd be cool if, I don't know if actually that might be the case. What if we took a nap? Would that refill that kind of stuff? I'd have a I'd have to imagine it would, but maybe not. Hmm. So now, how far, uh, I think it would be more this way. Okay, let me change my gear. I feel like we're sliding more because of it. Uh, just to some normal stuff. Sure, why not? But yeah, we should probably also try to make some food that'll help restore our stamina. That way when we're gliding to the area, maybe that won't be an issue uh, to the island on the bottom right of the map. I feel like it's gonna be at the tippity top of something like this, but maybe this is too low, too high? Hard to say. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's farther up. I think it's more this way. Oh, I really wish I had Revali's Gale right now. But maybe even on top of that little part there. Because it was definitely a much more like standable location. 
So like, this is definitely way too low. But the angling, like, so like it would make so much sense over there. So I think that's where we're trying to go. Uh, let's try to get up onto this slant so we can actually walk for a little bit, restore our stamina. Awesome stuff. Keep running, keep running, keep running. And then get up like that. Okay, I think it really is like up around there. So if I take a look now, we're getting there, but the angling still isn't correct. Unless it's down like this, but I don't think so. But if I go up for now, I think that'll help me. Cause then I can sort of like figure out from there. Okay, uh, let's wait for this and then we're good. Okay, I gotta be careful about not falling to my doom. Look at all these rocks out, ooh. I hit the gold mine, pun intended. Uh, got some good stuff. It does definitely seem worthwhile to poke around this kind of area for this kind of stuff. I do see the uh, fire rock guys here, I think these are. Broke ya, that's good. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, this could be dangerous. Uh, you drop some stuff though. What if I real quick uh, drop that and then just pop. There we go, that works out pretty well. And then, oh, you dropped the ruby. Then you're gonna drop another ruby, right? Ow, don't hit me. Jeez, dude. Gotcha. I might have to re-equip my fire armor soon. Okay, some good drops from them. What is that down there? Oh, it's a bird. Cool. I like it. Here's another rock to beat up. I did see sort of like the weapon of an enemy up that way, as if like there was somebody holding it and hiding almost behind that rock. Uh, oh yeah, okay, I see him now, he's a Lysel. Broke some of that stuff. I think it's at the top of this mountain. It's sort, sort of starting to seem like it. <laughs> Look at that bird! Oh, he's wonderful, oh, they're wonderful. Look at you, got wee! <laughs> okay, oh, and the Master Sword's back up as well. Uh, let's go for it. Cause this guy doesn't quite see me, and these guys aren't too powerful, I don't think. I mean, they may be. Maybe I shouldn't underestimate them. Ow, f fire in my face, stop that. You know what I'm gonna do? Things are about to get really cold up in here. Hold on, hold on. Got you, instant takedown. Isn't that satisfying? Okay, here's his friend too. I think it might be easier to use this though, because it has a bit more range to it. Oh, oh, yep. Chose the wrong person to mess with. Okay, very cool. I think it's up here. Oh, hey, well here's a little Korok spot. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta put this rock here, and here, here it is, the memory, okay, cool. So we will be getting a memory today, look at us! I was doubtful. Drop that there. Oh, that was not good enough. Hold on. No? No? Oh, th there's another spot. Okay, I was gonna say, you don't like that? Not perfect of a, of a circle enough for you. I mean, I'm trying my best here. These rocks are heavy. There you go. So that's gonna give us another Korok seed. Very cool. So we're gonna get a lot of those too. I mean, we're not too far off from where we can get a uh, them cashed in. Maybe we could do that at the beginning of next episode or something. But yeah, I don't wanna jump off this way. I just feel like there was something that caught my interest. Like, maybe I saw a shrine. I keep on seeing the glow of the lava and I keep on thinking that's the orange glow of an unfound shrine. But anyways, it's memory time! Oh man, we finally found it. It definitely is a bit different with the tower and of course Hyrule Castle being in shambles. But we found it all right. How awesome is that? Okay. There it is. Awesome. Do you remember, Link? Think back to the time you went hiking with Zelda. You forgot to bring the trail mix and she was furious at you. You know she loves trail mix. Ah, he remembers. That cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. Wow. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. Not yet. Whoa, holy it seems cow! That not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that. I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. Okay. 
Wow. I, I would not want to mess with Link. I can't even imagine how he could have died. I can barely take on one of those things. They move and react so quickly. It's just like crazy stuff. You're crazy, dude. <laughs> and the Korok is just standing in the background like, you, you okay over there? You having a moment? <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We got another memory. We are really getting through those. Now we're only missing one, two, three, four, and five of them. Oh, that is so exciting. I don't even know what we want to do with the rest of today's episode. We still have like 15 minutes left I planned on using up in one way or another. Uh, I could, well, let me check my list. I did make like a little list of things I wanted to see. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to a dog or just, you know, see if that works. So I see that uh, little thing over there. Let's see what ends up happening. Because apparently if I talk to dogs or like try to interact with them, sometimes they'll, uh. Try to interact back is sort of what it seemed like the message was getting across to me. Might as well poke around here while I'm heading down. Maybe I'll find something. Like down this way. What is this tree about? Uh, Not much. Okay. Actually, no. Whoa, it's very misty around here. No way. It's not this one again. I keep checking, keep looking. Whenever I see an apple tree though, I get suspicious. Very suspicious. It would be weird if it was this close to the other memory though. I'd be a little like, what the heck? Oh hey, I see you down here. What are you up here for? To mess with innocent civilians? Oh yeah, I've been over here before I remember this. Uh, boop. <laughs> Did he just eat a bug? Oh, you little weirdo. Come on, come on, attack me. See what happens. Boop, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, it actually didn't take you out in one hit. Uh. Okay, well then I'm just gonna toss this at you. Boom! Oh, that still isn't, you are tough. You are tough. Why Why are these guys, are these guys not just like straight up fire Lazolfos? Are they like a little bit different? Okay, you're shooting at me, I get it. Don't shoot at me again. Cause I think if you keep shooting at me, I won't get arrows from it. Okay, gotcha, I'm gonna beat you up now. You have nowhere to defend yourself. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so what are you gonna drop? Uh, basic stuff. I'm probably gonna leave that guy be. He's gonna turn around and realize his friends are taking him. Like, oh no! That's awful. Why would I want that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're almost at the horse stable. And I'm just gonna see if I can't like give a dog like. Oh, thinking about it, maybe I should have uh, waited for nighttime. Well, nighttime's about to happen. Oh, we're still in the midst of a lightning storm over here. That's a bit risky. Uh. This guy's running, I was like, oh my gosh, so much rain. Okay, so maybe I should wait until morning. Hi, dude. I mean, you won't want to talk to me, ah, right now. Let me grab some of this wood real quick. And then, oh boy. Uh, let me quickly unequip everything that I need to unequip. Like, actually, should I? Because I could just, okay, yeah, I'm hidden. You know, we'll take a little nap. Maybe that'll be helpful. Guys, some fancy facial hair. Welcome, will you be staying with us? Uh, We'll do a soft bed, sure. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I might need a bone. I'm thinking like maybe one of the wiggly bones from one of the uh, you know, nighttime enemies might be good. I mean, I can always make a fire outside of the place. Just won't restore anything. Oh. Good morning, hope you enjoyed your stay. That was not worth the money. I have talked to some of these people before, I remember that. Uh, just don't know what to do. Eh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for nothing, but hey, I'm not I'm not your servant. So let's see if there's a dog. There's almost always a dog around, you know, these places. Oh, I think I found him. So if I can befriend a dog, maybe something will happen. Uh, hmm. The first thing I can think of is giving him meat. Here you go. You don't care. Let's try to give you cooked meat. Do I have any? I don't. Okay, well I know a solution to that one. Um, it's called making a fire. But first off, what's inside of here? We get nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, hello. You weren't here a moment ago, were you? Yes, yes, good morning. <laughs> if you're make, making time to talk to an old man like me, you must be in need of something. You aren't from around here, are you? <laughs> When you get to be my age, you can tell just by looking at people's faces. 
This year's Woodland Stable borders the Elden Region in Hyrule Field. It's a central fixture for travelers. Also, the Great Hyrule Forest, which is where the stable got its name, is, is right over yonder. Do you want me to tell you about the surrounding areas? No. I see, well, so safe travels. Okay, so I need to go ahead and sort this stuff out. I need flint, and then I need to, I mean, is there a better way to start the fire? I guess not. I mean, maybe I could just, no. Okay, so I guess drop the flint, hold, drop, and then it's a little off, but it worked. Cool. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna cook normal meat right now. See if giving him cooked meat uh, will do anything. Because this should just be meat. Meat skewer, okay. Not really what I was looking for, but maybe he'll take it. Uh, oh, I can't drop this. Maybe I just can't drop, yeah, I guess I can't drop cooked food in general. Weird. Okay, so I need to wait until nighttime then. Um, sit into the fire until night. Wait for those bony enemies to show up. Beat one of them up, take a little wiggling bone. See if I can't give that to the dog. That might be worth my while. I don't know how long this fire goes for, I think until I wake up. No, it's still going. Nice and strong. Okay. I also wanted to grab a torch. I noticed all these lights were off, and I don't know if this is like a Korok seed waiting to happen. Uh, I don't think so. But it's driving me nuts, so I'm fixing this. <laughs> Okay, there's that. That didn't do anything for me, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna run around until we can find maybe some of the uh, skeleton guys, but at the same time, I've run around plenty during the night, and not always do I run into skeleton guys. But hey, maybe I'll get lucky this time. Only takes a wrong turn, and then boom, skeleton guys all over the place. What's down this way? Oh, well, not quite skeleton guys, but guys nonetheless, right next to the stable, too. They were gonna take care of a bunch of civilians, weren't they? That would have been awful. I'm glad I can stop that from happening. Uh, I might not wanna use this most powerful thing I could use. Like, I have two two of these that do 36 damage. Oh, that did a lot of damage because it didn't even see me. Okay, not so good. The game's a little laggy right now. Um, hey, uh, how about we talk about this? Uh, move it, move it. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up, and then we're gonna like take you guys out. There we go. So I took care of your friends, now you're electrocuted so I can just start swinging at you. And then the moment you're not electrocuted, I can run over to you and then I can do a bit of this, um, and then go for you again. Pretty good, pretty good. And then, okay, that works sort of. Come on, he's almost down, he's almost down. Oh, there we go, so yeah, it's at, when I'm at full health. I swear I've done that before. When I wasn't at full health and it worked out just fine. So there we go, we actually did one of these battles without taking damage whatsoever, pretty cool. Uh, pick up all of that stuff, and then got a Korok Leaf I don't care much for, Soldier's Broadsword, I just want the monster parts, really. Well, they're all over the place, so I should be able to find them, no problem. I mean, this actually, that club seems pretty good. I think I'm gonna change it for this. Oh ho ho, yes it is. Man, are those guys tough. Got an arrow right there, that was probably the one I shot. But I definitely wanna check out what's in the chest. Okay. We got ourselves a topaz. Nothing crazy, but I'll take it. Um, And then, do that. We are definitely getting to this point where we're getting way better weapons on average, which is what I was looking for. Cause that wasn't the case when I finished the final Divine Beast. Still no skeleton guys, but usually if you just follow a main path for long enough during the night, you'll find one. Daruk's protection is not All right, thank anymore. you, Daruk. Uh, especially during or around these like ruined areas, this whole little town here seems like it's been long since burned down. Maybe we could find something. Oh hey, I've been looking for you guys. Hiya. <laughs> um, so can I? Ow. Excuse me. I just need. Okay, I'm gone, see ya, leave me alone. So, uh, I guess the best thing I could do is just glide there as much as possible. Just sort of see how things go, cause they, no matter how long their legs are, they're not gonna chase me this far. Even though there were some, like, Bokoblins. Yeah, right there, what are they fighting? Oh no, a poor village, okay, now I gotta save her. Gosh darn it, <laughs> curse my good heart. <laughs> now I'm just complimenting myself. Uh, But no, we gotta save her. She might give us something. <laughs> and it's also the right thing to do. Don't forget that part, Zebra. 
Are they still chasing me? Yeah, I thought so. That one guy's just missing his arm. Let me go. Oh no, we'll save you, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, there's two of them too. Okay, whoop. Whoop, got you. And then we're going for you now. Uh, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna freeze you, and then goodbye, sir. How are you doing? I don't care. <laughs> Jeez, we can just like sit here and just tear the poor guy up. Like that was just overdoing it. He didn't drop anything, weird. That got hairier than I expected. You did pretty good. Um, much as it galls me to thank you for saving us, that is what happened, so sure, here's a little something. Spicy poultry curry, ooh. Grants low level cold resistance. The savory meat pairs well with the aroma of spice in this common curry. <laughs> I'll get them next time for sure. All right, have fun. No wait, don't run, don't run, I wanna talk to you too. Thank, thank highly of that Mina safe. I knew it wasn't smart to go treasure hunting in these parts. Yeah, I suppose so. All right, well, whatever, where is there a shrine that I could just teleport back here? I mean, I guess really any stable is fine, so as long as I can find a shrine near a stable. But this one is just in my peripheral vision, so I'm going for it. <sighs> but yeah, I think it's been a pretty fun episode so far today. I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. I'm just glad we've actually, we're able to do a memory this episode. I think next episode then, maybe I should start poking around to Hyrule. Maybe just enough so that I can find another memory. If not, then we'll start hunting for another dragon. Memories and dragons, sounds like a fun combo to me. Uh, so yeah, here is this. I don't wanna use Rivali's Gale to get over there more quickly, even though it sounds useful. It's because then I wouldn't have it until I use the other two, and that's such a pain. I don't understand why it works that way. I mean, maybe if it didn't work that way, it would just be overpowered. I suppose so, that's the only reasoning I can think of. Hmm. Is the doggy still out? Because the doggy is, yep, he's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to all from this little bone. Um, hey doggy, hey, you see this? Go fetch. Are you gonna go fetch it? Oh, he is gonna go fetch it. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy. Go fetch, go fetch. Go get it, go get it. Wait, no, are you upset? I'm not throwing it at you. Go get it, go get it. Are you, are you leading me somewhere now? Or are you mad at me? I honestly can't tell. What if I throw it like that? I don't think he likes me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to attack you. I just wanted you to play fetch with me. Okay, this isn't working. Maya just wasted a bunch of time. So I'm a little close with this. Don't know what I did wrong. Don't know what I'm supposed to do to make it right. So, I don't know. If there's one more thing I can do in today's episode, that would be making that stamina food so that maybe we can make our way to that island. So, temporal increases your attack power, uh, movement speed, heart recovery, doesn't have any special effects, body temperature, volt fruit, electricity of course, Hardy Truffles is gonna increase your maximum hearts. Endura Shroom increase, temporarily increases your stamina limit. I feel like we should hold a couple of these and then some apples and then just boom, cook that. That seems like it could be pretty good. Uh, That's not much, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, Maybe I should have made an elixir though. Like I feel like maybe that's smarter because I don't need something that's gonna restore hearts. Okay, got it. Um, can you just do it? with critters to make elixirs. Let's try something like that, maybe it'll really extend its effects. Uh, dubious food, really? Okay, so you can't turn mushrooms into elixirs, huh? Okay. Maybe you can, I just, I don't know. Hardy radish, hyrule herb. Uh, hearts, cool safflina, warm safflina, electric, swift. Increase your movement speed. Okay, raise your defense. Stealth. What does this do? I mean, Silent Princess, yeah. I once feared to have gone extinct. It recently has been spotted growing in the wild. I don't know what it does though, so I don't want to use it. Uh, this as well. Cook the Cooking this into a meal unlocks the uh, potential use of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Okay, so I'm gonna hold three of them and then like, two apples. And you'd think that would give me some really good stamina restoration too. 
It does, holy cow. Now the problem though is that it also heals me a ton. I mean, I guess that's fine because I have 66 apples, that's a lot of apples. Uh, it's grown in regions with a lot of water and it's quite versatile, used as an ingredient in things like risotto and rice balls. Uh, perfect for cooking. Okay, well we do have some stamina res restoration stuff. It would probably get me all the way over there. As long as, can you eat while you're gliding? That's sort of maybe something I should test out. I mean, they're really, I don't, I haven't taken enough damage to really know. So it might have to be something that waits for next time. But wait, what's going on in there? You know, we're gonna figure that out. Uh, Best way to figure that out is probably just to go across this side. Actually, no. It's to swim, or not swim, but you know what I mean. Aye, aye, aye. I mean, I guess I could. The problem is that I don't have anything to really move this right now. I mean, I guess I could do this. Oh, is there something in the... Oh, there's a lot of buried treasure. Hold on, hold on. I am curious about this stuff. Can I get some free stuff right now? Looks like it. I really gotta start doing that more. Just like whenever I'm near water, just activate that every once in a while. What do we get? Purple rupee, nice, worth it. So yeah, I need to do this and then I'm gonna get uh, an ax, sure. And then just start smacking this thing. Oh, hitting the, the, the mast? Hitting any of this doesn't do anything. <laughs> Come on. I guess you really need the thing. But that's probably a Korok seed or something cool in there. All right, well, I'll use this, and I'm just gonna try to uh, be good at aiming. We'll see how that works out for me. Okay, there's some electric keys over here I'd like to avoid, but uh, whoop. And maybe that'll just sort of be carried by the current. Oh, that's the wrong button. Drop. Ow. Hey, that worked though. <laughs> it definitely worked. Okay. Um. Can I go inside? Oh, I can, there's a chest in here, look at this. Look at this. So, um, what's inside this? Oh, and there's another one over there. Shock arrows, awesome. And then what do you have? There's apparently a shrine nearby too. Ooh, I wanna take that, that opportunity. Thunderstorm rod. A magical rod that can hurl three balls of electricity at once. Its gems contain or the, its gem contains electricity from the Hyrule Hills, and the rod will break when the electricity runs out. Wow, we very cool. So where is that other chest I found down there? I'm not gonna be able to get that very easy from this angle. I'd probably have to bring the boat out. Probably should be holding a leaf more often, shouldn't I? Because there's no way I'm getting that from here. It's probably just more rupees, but maybe at some point we can just have like a little raft ride. Is there like a? I don't have a shrine marker near here, so if there is a shrine somewhere around here. That might also be worth getting. Maybe today's episode will go slightly longer than normal. Because there's a shrine really nearby. Like it's, it's, it's very excited about this. It wasn't inside of there. Thought it might have been, but. Hmm. This is sort of a weird mountain. I don't think we've really been over on this little island. Uh. Oh gosh. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh jeez, oh jeez, I don't like these guys. Got him. Okay, well, that, is that another one? That's just a normal lightning rod. Hey guys, what did I do to you? Ugh, get away from me. <laughs> jeez, why are there so many enemies? Okay, okay, be careful, be careful. Uh, Slice, and then, gotcha. Okay, got rid of those guys, but there's no shrine around here. This is not what I was looking for. Where is it? Uh. Going off again. Got some electric ones now too. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the top of the, the mountain, or as much as I can. That'll probably be good. Uh, I don't see much right now. We're not at the top yet. I mean, it's not going. Like, the thing is that these uh, shrine finders, like they have a pretty huge range. Looks like on the map there's something of interest over here. Uh, like something circular. Right here, oh, it's another one of these locks. Is this it? It is, okay. So I don't know really what's going on around here. I would love to poke around a bit more, but I might have to do that next time. For now though, we activated a shrine. That's one more we don't have to worry about this whole area. We have not really poked around with. Maybe we can worry about it next time, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. 
If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Laurel and Zebra so that you watch to the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.